Cosmog does... farts. <laughs> What the hell do you think you're doing? First of all, there's no way that this is what you're capable of. Just because I haven't managed to beat you yet doesn't mean you should hold back on me. I just... I don't know, I... You didn't even technically use any Pokemon, right? Did... did Luna tell you I was weak? No! No, it's... When I was in combat, I... Getting these flashbacks to... I had to save them this time, I... It's okay. I choked too. So, what are you going through? For the second time, I was powerless to save someone I cared about. I did everything I could, and yet, it's all I can think about. I can't even use the focus punch anymore. Hey, I, I feel you, bro. I do, but at least you have the power to help your friends. The last time I was in trouble, I had to get help from you guys. And the time after that, too. Ultra Space just really, really ruined me, you know? Plus, after that, I, I, I'm assuming Luna told you, but uh, she dumped me and... Uh... Wait, she dumped you? What do you mean, she dumped you? It was Christmas time in Empire City. Um, Luna, I've always felt this... No! Heck no, I won't date you! You're stupid and your hair looks stupid! Wait a second. That's not how I remember it going. Hey, Luna! We're best friends, and I want to be more best friends! Yeah, let's be best friends! Well, yeah. Anyway, I put too much faith into the relationship. And I, I just can't keep failing like this. I need a win, you know, and this... <sighs> I, I was just picking on someone who was going through hell, and this was not a win. And I only beat you. You didn't even use any Pokemon. I, I know that you have some. Oh yeah! I don't know why I didn't use these guys. I guess I just wanted to prove myself. This isn't for me. I just need to do... something. And that's why I struggled to come here in the first place. Uh, I'm sorry. Perhaps we should bring him along with us. I think this could be a good experience. For all of us. Hey, we're going to this island where it's supposed to be something to help us get crazy strong. Maybe you can find something there too. Guys, head to the ocean. Uh, Kiza steps onto it and creates an ice bridge that then suddenly juts out and carries you guys like a ski, uh, a jet ski, as it launches you out onto this lake. You guys head out. And you ever feel like someone's just talking behind your back? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Did I tell you about the time I totally dumped Prism? <laughs> Actually, I've been Anyway, meeting... how's your sex life? <laughs> 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 what a, what a story, Luna. <laughs> So Solana and Luna, you guys head to the basement, uh, not talking about boys. You guys are in the freaking Mystic Cave. You walk in and you see an environment that is surprisingly bright, despite you guys being so deep underground. You can see a you can see uh, ahead of you an altar that or a small table just completely out of place in front of this lake. Oh, look at that! Let's go closer. Uh, <laughs> Oh, it's okay. Plus. Ah! Plussel's trails behind. <laughs> and what's what's this in front of us? Uh, Solana stops you uh, just before you get to it and says, "Hold on, sis. Don't, don't. You know, you shouldn't approach strange, supernatural seeming things like." I wasn't gonna step on it. I was just getting a little closer look. <laughs> Solana just kind of sidesteps a little bit, uh, eyeing it suspiciously, while eyeing you as well. And as she approaches. She just kind of peers back and says, it looks like a, a large bracelet of some kind, almost like a mega ring. Ooh. I uh, want to touch it. You <laughs> approach it. Give me a give me a perception check. My perception sucks. 
Yeah. What does an 11 give me? An 11 lets you know basically what this thing looks like. It is it is large. <laughs> you can identify you can identify the wood of the table. <laughs> <laughs> Mahogany. Nice. A nice wood. Or what do they call Swood. it? Wood. <laughs> Wood. And the bracelet's nice too. <laughs> uh, the table is pretty nondescript. It's this actually small like like a Japanese dinner table how you would like eat it on your knees and stuff. And as you get closer to this bracelet, you see it, it is a dark, um, you know, it is dark in size. Uh, on top of it rests a platinum jewel or a, like a platinum sitting. And to the left and to the right of this sitting, it looks like it fits two other objects. Wait, I've seen a gym leader use this, but it looks a little different. Uh, you approach it and uh, as you look closer, it's about the size of a mega bracelet, but if you want to pick it up, I'm trying to think. No, it's just the size of a mega bracelet. It is black in color, and like I said, there's two sockets on it, so. Hope it's not evil. I want to pick it up. <laughs> All right. You reach down to pick it up, and before, like, Solana attempts to stop you, but you reach and grab it. You should be able to move it. Ah, it's mine. Uh, you pick it up. And when you do, the mega bracelet that Prism bought you a long time ago just kind of falls off your wrist. What fell off? Uh, the mega bracelet that Prism bought you a long time ago just falls off your wrist. Huh. What does that mean to something? <laughs> Wait, I had a mega bracelet? Yeah. yeah. I never used it, though. Yep, you just, you got it from Prism, and he never did, and you never did anything with it. I, I'll scoop it up and put it in my pocket. Uh, as you put it in your pocket, uh, you look around and... It turns to dust. <laughs> <laughs> Much like Prism's heart. Hello, darkness, my old friend. As you slip it into your pocket, you look back at your hand holding the bracelet, and it's just kind of attached to you. Uh, you mean like it's stuck on my hand? Yeah, it's now like on your wrist, and... Uh, at... yeah, this is like, this is like the Omnitrix. <laughs> <laughs> and when you do, the light from the... Uh, like water recedes a little bit and he you hear a voice call out from the center of the lake as you start to look around you look at the table and images from your past uh start to emerge a little bit and uh appearing before you as these shadowy figures just drop to the south ah Ooh. Ooh. You see two shadowy Pokemon uh, just suddenly appear uh, coming from your past. And, and speaking from that direction, you hear a voice. You hear from that direction uh, a whispery voice say, You have begun the trial of knowledge. What? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the, trial to, the trial of knowledge. You've begun. Oh, the trial of knowledge. Okay. What? <laughs> you must does my be... sister hear does my sister hear this or yeah I she's just kind of okay stand... just making just making sure i'm not going crazy <laughs> she just kind of stand up aghast and the voice calls out again the trial will judge those who are ignorant or unworthy to to pass the trial of knowledge you must answer our riddles three <laughs> what? What's okay, your name? Are what guys, is he? Are, are these guys what in is front he? Of me talking, or is it in the air? Like, it's just in the air. Okay, these guys are just standing in front of me, though. Uh, okay, so this is where the participation from Discord is coming in. Um, I thought so. These are the little riddles. Now uh, I will name off who has uh, who has submitted them, and this one is from. I really like this one. This one is from Crystal Lily. And the voice calls out, A sign of chaos that brings misfortune. Misunderstood. A guardian of the forest. Who am I? Oh, wow. Uh, can you repeat? <laughs> <laughs> no! Am I allowed to use my sister for help, or am I the only Yeah, 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 okay, okay, so here's the riddle. A sign of chaos... Oh, cool, you wrote it down, great. Yeah, that, makes sense. that brings misfortune, misunderstood... A guardian of the forest. Um, Solana just looks at you and says, "Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Um, what Pokemon brings misfortune?" She just kind of shrugs. 
Oh, uh... I think I know, but I'm not, I'm not here, so I can't say. Is oh. it, is it, is it a uh, Absol? You hear a, a hissing and a yes! as yeah. the shadow Pokemon shrink a little bit and their stats drop as they begin to attack you. Oh, Pikachu! Uh, let's, is that everyone? Mamoswine, step on them. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Mamoswine, uh, actually Plusel goes first. Plusel will hold well, Plusel would go first, it is Pikachu. fast. All right, Solana steps back, Plusel hops down, and she tells Plusel to give you support. So essentially next is, L excuse me, Luna. All right. Suzaku pops out as well, and he joins the fray. Come Buskin. All right. Lunala stands back and supports Buskin or or yeah, Mamoswine uh, with her signs, if you want. Or Appa. You can call him Appa, too. Or, yeah, or Appa. All right, so it is Come Buskin's turn. Cool. Uh, I mean, I don't know if the ghostly thing affects them, but I know Pokemon in general. So let's just stick with that and see what happens. <laughs> All right. Saku, you... I will use a uh, flamethrower on the mobile. Okay. As you do that, the Plusle uses Helping Hand. Yeah, boost it. Which increases the accuracy by two, which lets you hit it. And I think I believe the damage by ten. It was actually really insane. And the damage by ten. So, all right. A Combuskin fires uh, a jet of flame at it. And it does considerable damage. Um, it does 66 damage. But then Solana backs you up with a courage sign. Oh, sweet. So you could use another at will move. That, did that do a lot of damage to them a while? That did, actually. I don't know if you can see it. It did three I'm kinda, injuries. I'm, ki I'm kind of zoomed out because I wanted to get the whole layout. Okay. I will. Okay, so if that one's pretty bad. I will try to attack the Loet. It's a Pokemon. It's a Pokemon. It's like, yes, I know it's a Floette. Um, I will use Fire Spin, because that's the other fire move I have. That's at will? That's uh, seed times two. Uh, you got to use an at will move if you got one. Oh, an at will move. Okay, so move, yeah. that's plus energy. Oh, Peck. I'll use Peck. Oh, good call. Peck attack. All right, Suzaku leaps forward and gets in Peck's, uh the next. Oh, Helping Hand lasts the whole round. Oh, nice. You're Pikachu! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Wow. All right, so that does 44. Nice job. And that does considerable damage to both of them. Mawile is knocked back a little bit, and so is Floette, but they still get to move. The Mawile jumps forward and uses... Oh, I could have done that. Oh, well. It uses Iron Head. On me? On the... I mean, on the... On the Suzaku. Suzaku resists most of it, I believe, because yeah. steel. And then Floette attempts to use... <laughs> It'll use Razor Leaf. Once again, just kind of feeding Suzaku's flames. Oh my god, it only does like eight. Delicious! <laughs> <laughs> it's now Appa's turn. Uh, I wonder if I can hit them both with Icy Wind. I think Icy Wind can. While we're waiting... Uh -huh. I saw that. It's cute. It is super cute. Thank you, Len. That is awesome. I want to use Icy when it says Cone of Two, so does that mean I can hit them both? Yes, or... you can. I don't think it's going to do that much damage to the Mobile, but I will use Icy Wind. Alright, Icy Wind. Alright, that ooh, just doesn't do much in general, but it's enough to at least do something. It does nine to the Mawile, but two... To the, to the floet. Cosmog it does, farts. It does lower their speed by one combat. Oh, it does. The, yeah. Okay. Automatic. Good call. Oh my God, Cosmog! I forgot he's fighting. Uh Cos <laughs> Cosmog simply farts. Oh, he, does he not? He doesn't know any moves, does he? Cosmog has splash. So it's you yeah. splash. <laughs> Cosmog goes and farts. Good job. Starting over again, Plusle will it will begin nasty plotting and raise its special attack by two stages. <laughs> it just yeah, it thinks and giggles. <laughs> Plus two, there you go. All right, Luna, it's your turn. Then uh, um. Lana's Solana, and then yeah, Combuskin. 
right, so does Luna want to do anything, or do you want to just? No, I think I'm. I think I'm good with these two. They're fine. Okay. I'll just encourage them. Keep going. You're doing good. Solana will heal Combuskin with healing sign. Oh, thanks, sis. She looks at you and says, "I don't want your Pokemon fainting now, because otherwise they'll come after you." She reminds you as if you don't know. <laughs> All right, now I'm rolling these based off of Luna's stuff, so if it says Luna did this... Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, Combuskin gains 34. Which is way too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and it's Combuskin's turn one more time. Okay, I assume I can't use Flamethrower again, right? Not this turn, no. I guess I'll just use Firestone. Uh, what has the most to go? Suzaku uh, just lights up Floette, putting it into a flame vortex. It doesn't do that much damage. This Floette is shockingly tanky, but it is now bound and takes two damage. It's a weird looking... You can follow up with a Courage Sign or something if you want. Okay, Courage Sign. That lets you use an at-will move. Use heck. <laughs> All right. The only other one I have. <laughs> Otherwise, it's focus energy, and I don't really want to do that. All right. The Floette takes more damage. Floette, trapped in a fire spin, does not escape and takes burn damage. And Mawile, trapped between a rock and a hard place, will just continue what it's doing and attack Suzaku with Sucker Punch. Oh! Suzaku, okay. Suzaku takes 51. Chenji, does, are you counting it's uh, is that is that a dark move? That is a dark move, yeah. I'm fighting fire. Is it fighting fire? Let me double check that. Yeah. If it gets that ability when it evolves. Yeah, I'm fighting fire. Oh, so it is. Okay, sorry. Plus, what did I say? You I'll said just... 50. Yeah, I'll just give that much back. There you go. Appa's turn. Uh, Appa. What do I got? Okay, try mud slap on the mobile. I'll roll it. Man. What is unfortunately harming you more than anything else is the special attack defense ratio that's happening here. So it does very little damage, but it reduces its accuracy by one. It Ground moves are effective against Mowile, though. Yeah, I know, but it's got, like, 14 defense. Ugh. Just and step he... on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, starting over. Plusle then uses Baton Pass and sends Suzaku... It's stat bonuses, so Suzaku's stats go up. That's a... So, uh, do you know how to bo boost those up? I think so. Hold on. <laughs> how many... What do I... I go to... I go... Wait, 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 wait. I go to combat stage. Here we go. Yep, so what yep. do I boost? Special attack. By one? Or how much? Two. Oh, two. Luna's turn, if you want to do anything. Uh, I guess I'll use healing on uh, Suzaku. <laughs> All right, sure. Roll it. It is in your Luna 2.0 thing. Okay, there you go. Uh, yeah, so it heals 34. Uh, Solana, who just kind of <laughs> recalled her Pokemon, is going to wait this turn before sending Plusle back out again. My sister is really Lunala. <laughs> 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 it makes sense. It's Combuskin's turn again. Flamethrower on the Mawile, because that seems to be the most trouble. Right on. Okay, that KOs it. Um, Yay! Combuskin uh, shoots a jet of flame out, and the th the Pokemon disappears into a puff of smoke. Shadow Flat goes, comes over, and uses <laughs> and blinds off in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, oh man, this is what's frustrating. Sure, it'll use Moonblast on oh, Appa. Jesus. Appa takes fifteen. Appa's is more than okay. Right in the eye. <laughs> Appa's turn now. Uh, yeah, just take him. Oh, nice. Okay. Appa lunges... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Appa lunges forward, knocks Floette down, slams it into the ground, and it disappears into a puff of smoke. And the fight is over as the shadowy whisper says it to you, Congratulations on defeating your first trial. Thanks! <laughs> <laughs> Solana comes forward and looks at you and says, "Luna, we can, we can go if this is too much for you. I don't, I don't want you getting wrapped up in any mystic trial nonsense." What are you talking about, sis? We did a good job. My buddies helped me out. We're fine. Mm. Also, this thing will come off my arm, so we're kind of stuck. <laughs> She's, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> she she tries. What? To, <laughs> she tries to. Ah, 
freaking yeah. She tries to pull it uh, off your arm, just like grabbing it and yanking it. And says, "Now calm down, sis. We'll get this off." <laughs> like, um, but it's not coming off. Uh, fine. Can can we leave? She thinks, like, just kind of stopping the question before it even finishes it. She goes, okay, all right. Uh, So this is your trial, I guess. Lead on. Yay, let's go.